very much like any Franciscan monk or any Buddhist or Jewish priest, there is a pagan order. And the pagan order can come from different deities and different philosophies. We all know that there are priests throughout the world representing different versions of God's religions. In my version of pagan priesthood, I am the order of Melchizedek because the Lord has told me so. I am also a person who wants to read the book of Enoch so that I can learn more about the Lord you know. I have been assigned already today new works of God like the Kabbalion that I need to find even though others may think it's odd. I am most definitely someone who considers himself a metaphysicist but that may not be the right term for me today. It might be more important that I pr to profess that I'm a paralinguistic oriented personality type or communication style in which I am very quick to understand social nuance and subtext and context of conversations to the point that I can tell almost immediately if I'm being monkeyed with by the government that has been testing my abilities and my skill set. I am very humbled to know that certain people of high rank in the world have taken the Lord's counsel through me. Being the pendulum professor, I am very experienced with my work that I created over the period of time in my book, Practicing Pendulum. I'm also very familiar with my work in workshops, a first and second set of workshops, for helping people to improve their skill sets and their faith and belief in God. Some people from Christendom and other types of religions may find this wrong in their mind, but what I want to remind them of is that the Lord God Most High created everyone and everything and every practice of faith, sometimes through the beautiful artwork and the beautiful concepts of people he has expressed himself and channeled himself and offered himself to people. I'm definitely a proponent of classic taroki oriented cards. My preference, however, is oracle cards that speak to the soul in terms of their artwork and their identifications. Each set usually comes with a marvelous book explaining the, their version of the arcana and how it's utilized. I have a good 20 sets of oracle cards, or at least I should, but my favorite are a top four that I love. One is a Catholic oriented angel set, another is a hidden realm set, another is power angel set, and the fourth is my Chinese oriented karaoke set which has beautiful tigers, dragons, roosters, and whatnot that truly give me inspiration when I utilize them for my own divination. I am not someone who practices or sells those skills in the community. I use them solely for me, and I pick the set based on what God guides me to utilize and how God guides me through my pendulum practice to not fantasize, but to express and to educate and edutain myself or entertain myself with my faith. When I do my prayers at home in front of my altar, they're not just five minutes. They literally go on for a couple hours. I am someone who loves to practice my faith. But I don't have a home anymore, and I have altar items somewhere, my hope. And have special gifts and special photographs of people I care for. And I'll be pretty pissed off if I learn that some monster has destroyed my family photographs because we didn't have many over the course of 20 years together, but they're still special and unique to me. My travels overseas also belong to me, and at one point someone stole my CDs and my negatives, which wasn't their right to do, and my slides from being overseas. What an abomination to God they did. Now in life we can talk about the professing of our faith and how we practice our faith in every way, but I use my pendulum to educate myself through the works of the Lord 
the readings that I love, and the books that I choose to read based on God's wishes for me. You see, God knows every author and every text that has ever been written in the world. God knows every human being, every boy and every girl's soul across the world. God knows even where a field mouse goes, and God knows every single animal of the air, land, and seas. It's hard for people to conceptualize God today in terms of deities, but other religions do have unique deities, and I love some of the beautiful temples and shrines in Japan. And I wish we had more of those in America, because I would like to continue the practice of my faith that I developed with my late Japanese spouse in every way of going to the temple on New Year's Eve to practice the ringing of the bells and going to the shrine on, on New Year's Day to produce a prayer to put on a specially made year of whatever animal it is wood that we did every year we lived there. Now in life as in death there is a Lord and the angels of the Lord do fully exist and there are a few videos that I have liked on my YouTube channel that the Lord has accessed and authorized me to like to help people who follow me to know what is and isn't right. The creator of those videos does not do everything right and can be a little bit dark in his, how should we say, creative right approach. But some of his work is beyond excellent. I'm also a big proponent of the Spirit Science Channel that I learned about from a metaphysics teacher in a community New Age shop who I attended for maybe six months to a year, I can't remember now, her class every Tuesdays. And for that, I am grateful for the fun and talk and experience that I had there. But she did not teach me the pendulum. I actually encouraged her to do a class on them. I'm not sure she ever did. In life, as in death, we must practice our faith devoutly and openly. When we die, we go back to the Lord's house, hopefully. If we have been a sinner, if we have been a collector, if we have been a thief of any kind, we may go through processing, we may go through transition, or some people end up in hell for a long time. 